Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and I want to show you how you can install some world-exclusive carbon fiber into the engine bay of your BMW from Mashamaro. All right, y'all, so let's talk about this project a little bit before we do it, and this is so cool. I'm really stoked by this. And this is some of the best carbon fiber I have ever seen anywhere, interior or exterior, that you can put in your car. Now, the BMW F80 series, right, so the M3, M4, M2 competition, you've got your carbon fiber strut that comes down, right, across the nose of your car, but underneath that, you have this kind of U-shaped metal plate. Well, Mashamaro has made an unbelievable carbon fiber version of this. It is absolutely feather light. It is so strong that if you look at some of their production videos, it shows it between two blocks and somebody standing right in the middle and jumping up and down on it. <laughs> so this is as strong as the metal. It is significantly lighter. If you are worried about weight, weight restrictions, if you want to take your car in a little bit more of a racing environment and weight matters, and it's just gorgeous. This is gonna be such a great install. I cannot wait to get this into my car. I was so excited when I heard about this, and I really do believe that this is a world exclusive. I looked around, Mashamaro had really taken the lead on this. They have developed all of this in-house. They've created this in-house. I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else in the world. So I definitely recommend you check them out. And I wanted to do this install for you to show you this is something you can easily do with just a little bit of time and a bunch of bolts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started in the engine bay and I'm gonna show you how you could put this into your car too. All right, y'all, so here we are with the, with the new brace here just kind of sitting in place so you can look by comparison. Here is the OEM one that's gonna come out and we're going to be taking out a whole series of bolts all the way across, plus transferring a few pieces. There's a bump stop here, there's one underneath right here, there's one right here and so on. Now, one thing to quickly call out, make sure to check the video description because I'll, I'll have all of the OEM bolt sizes in the video description. I obviously have a dress-up kit, so my bolts are a little bit different. These are all Allens, where the defaults are primarily T30s. You look through here. These are uh, 13 or 14 millimeter, if I remember correctly. I think these are like T25s here across the nose, T30s again. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I'll have that in the, the video description so you'll know what tools you need to use. But man, I am so psyched about this. This is gonna be an easy install. It's just a matter of transferring all the bolts. So a couple of quick cautions while we're here, and I'm sure I'll probably call this out a couple of times. First of all, especially when you're putting these big bolts back in, as they go back into the brace, they're going in right here. Make sure to do not exceed the factory spec on your torque. These are designed for the factory spec. If you just crank and crank and crank and crank on them, it'd be possible to break the metal out of the carbon fiber. And that would be bad. Don't do it. Mashamaro has a, has a warning that is included with this saying don't over tighten those. Okay, so make sure not to do it. Now my one other guide as we go through this, um, don't mix your bolts up. <laughs> so you could even potentially use the box that this came in, lay out all these bolts in the exact pattern that you took them out. That's exactly what I'm going to do as you take them so I don't mix and match. I mean, which ones went where, right? So you just don't wanna pull them out and put them in a big pile unless you're really good at remembering where each bolt goes. We're gonna start on one side. Be careful not to drop your hood latch down too far because these four bolts help hold it in place. Okay, but we're gonna walk through all of these pieces as we go. I'm gonna start on this side, start taking the bolts out and put them in a safe spot so I don't lose them. But all in all, I am really excited about this and this is gonna be awesome. All right, y'all, so let's catch up here really quickly. I'm gonna show you my bolt layout on the box. I think it's a great idea and a great way to stay organized. Keep in mind your hood latch is only held in by two of the four bolts. So when you pull two of them, you can take the hood latch and kind of set it and you can get it worked and set it down out of place so this plate can come free. You can set it down and in. In addition, this plastic trim piece that helps secure your headlights to all of this frame, you slide back and tip up and then it's got a little plastic finger on it that'll come out. You can set this aside as well. So just work your way through this center piece here. This is this, the bumper, yeah, essentially for one of your hood bumpers, just pulls up and out. We're gonna transfer this center locking ring uh, once we get the plate out, but then you can take the center post out. And then you can just work your way across. Now, me dropping this is a great example. One thing you can do here really quickly is that if, if you're worried about dropping things, you can stuff some rags in various different places. So if you do drop something, it's not gonna drop down into the motor. Now, the OEM bolts are, are usually steel, so you can get them with a long magnet if you have to. 
if you do some of the other options, like if you have titanium bolts or something similar, you're not going to be able to pick them up that way, and that's a big problem. So try really hard not to drop them, and be very careful as you pull out, pull them out and are very organized, all right? So let me show you my box idea here really quick, and then we're gonna work our way across. Like I said, I'm gonna move through this fairly quickly as I go through. Now, I also have some of the most observant subscribers. <laughs> So you guys are going to notice, obviously, I spoke to my spoke to my dress bolts a few minutes ago. Um, when, when I put this back in, you're going to see the OEM bolts. Well, number one, you're going to, that's going to allow me to speak to the various different sizes of the OEM bolts that you're going to need when you take all of this out. But I'm also making a change to my dress bolts as well. So I'm, I'm going to put them back to the temporary OEM just for a little, little short period of time for a future project that's going to be coming. So don't be surprised by that. So that way I don't have somebody who's like, hey, why did you go back? Why did you change bolts while you did this? <laughs> that's the reason why. OK. All right. So work your way across. Let me show you the box. And then we're going to tear through the rest of this. All right. So really quickly here, you can see my box idea. I used the, the new brace as a template here on the box and just drew out the shape. And then I'm just going to put the bolts all in the exact places as they come across out of the brace itself. That way I know exactly where they go back and you can use this with dress up bolts or OEM bolts, whatever you're doing, just to make sure that it's working out. Okay. So I'm going to leap back in and let's take a big chunk of those bolts out and then we're going to work that brace out. Okay, y'all, so let's get caught up here. So I've got all the bolts all the way across the nose are out. The, the two bolts holding the front of the strut are out as well. Now, it is potential. It, it is mostly loose, but but your hood latches take a little bit of twisting to get out. And I want to make I want to show you the easiest way possible to do this. So I'm actually going to take the strut off so we can lift and kind of feed these out rather than trying to slide this out from underneath. So you've got two plastic covers in the back with a twist 10 millimeter plastic nuts. They're, they're just little locking levers. So you just quarter turn them and they'll unlock. I'll show you in just a second. Then you've got 13 millimeter bolts across the top of your strut bar matching the normal OEM 13s here at the bottom. So we're gonna take the strut bar off. Let me show you what it looks like with the covers off. And then we're gonna take this bar off. Then we're gonna, we're gonna take this out entirely. All right, so to take this plastic cover off, there is a little plastic retaining. When you pull the center pin and pull that plastic expanding clip out, this plastic uh, piece has three 10 millimeter quarter turns, and then you can lift this kind of triangular piece up and out. One thing to be aware of here on this side, this is your positive battery post. My battery is still connected, so be very careful operating around this. I normally will take a glove and put it over the top of my, a rubber glove and normally put it over the top of my battery post anytime I'm working around it. You'll either have two or three 13 millimeters on each side. I haven't done the other side yet, but I want to show you what this looks like. So go ahead and take that out. This rubber boot on this side can just lift. And on the other side, you have a similar rubber boot right here, but you just have to slide that end out. You don't have to take anything extra off or take the, take the expanding rivet out. So go ahead and get your strut bar off, and then we're going to look to get the rest of this front brace off. All right, now that the strut brace is off, never forget you've got a 10 millimeter here that, that connects your reservoir to the strut brace. So you gotta take that out, lift and pull and set it safely aside. Don't forget that's a very expensive piece, so treat it very gently, okay? Now you can take this center support here you have for your front intake. You just press on the little clips and rotate it up and out of the way. And we're gonna transfer this to the new one. But if you grab a hold, you, you can see it's loose at this point, right? So the only thing that's really holding it down is gonna be your uh, hood clip on this side, which I just fit, fit the brace up and around it. Hood clip on this side. And now I've also got my oil catch can right here that's also in the way just a little bit. But if you just continue just to work it out like that, as you can see, it's now out. And the new one is so much lighter than this. It's really pretty darn amazing, candidly. Okay, so as you can see, that's all out, looks great. We're gonna transfer these, these center plugs um, to the new one. We're gonna transfer the center brace to the new one, but this is gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to get this get the new one in. All right, so transferring uh, these little um, brackets, I mean, they're almost like hard plastic grommets, kind of, sort of. Um, they've got fingers on the bottom. So what I found easily enough is I just got a grip on the, on, and you turn them counterclockwise to get them out and then turn them clockwise to go back in. And they really are just pressure fit in, into place. This bracket here, or this little stand here in the middle, just has a little T-bar on the sideways. So if you turn it sideways, it'll come straight out and we'll put it right back in once we get this into place. So now you can just fit this down into place where it should be. Just tip it in just like that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take uh, your hood clamp brackets and just fit them up and over 
just like that. And I'm probably gonna put those on first. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is as, as I put all these pieces into place, I'm going to, at least in the beginning, put everything in just a little bit loose, right? Just snug, so I can shift and adjust this around as, I, as need be to make sure that all the holes line up, that my, my hood stops right here that go down into, into the radiator, because these are actually those long T's that go down, actually go down to your radiator here on both sides. So I'm gonna make sure all of that's in line um, before I really start tightening it down. But it really is that simple. So go ahead and pull your hood brackets up. Uh, and, and put them into place. I'm gonna bolt those loosely down and then I'm gonna put all the rest and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, y'all, so the new CF brace is in. Man, this looks good. I am so stoked. Yep, number number 30 from Mashamaro, which is so cool. They even have them individualized with, with individual numbers. So um, I haven't put my carbon strut brace back in yet, of course. I wanted to give you the cleanest view of this completely reinstalled. Of course, you've got, on this case, I've got a Mishimoto oil catch can and I love these guys. This is so well designed. There's a gap. I was initially worried that this was gonna hit this lip edge of the carbon fiber, but the carbon fiber pretty much mimics what the steel is doing. And so this gap right here that's on the brace for the oil cash can fits perfectly. Just huge shout out to uh, Mishimoto. Um, but as you can tell, it's all back on. I've got my headlight uh, connection bracket here. I have my hood latches back on. I've got all the bolts here across the base in, and they're easier to get to now because it's a flat surface rather than back in those hollowed recesses. These plugs that help hold the radiator in place are back in. My intake pipe brace, which like I said, you just slot into place and turn is in. All the bolts are back in on this side. So I'm pretty much ready to just put it all back together and be done. Now, one quick thing that just as a reminder, do not over torque any of these bolts. You know, you're sandwiching carbon fiber here between steel. So if you crank down it way too hard, you could crack it. So all of these should be down firm and snug. When you look at the bolts here for your, for your carbon fiber strut bar, uh, look in the video description, I'll have the torque value there, but don't exceed the torque value. And there's a note, like I mentioned, from Mashamaro about don't exceed the torque value putting these down. Because potentially, I mean, if you really cranked on it, you would turn the steel, the steel threads here inside a carbon fiber and break it free. And that's not something that's covered under their warranty, which I wouldn't expect them to, right? But go ahead and put everything back together. I'm going to put the strut bar back in. Uh, and I'll show you when it's all done, but man, I am so excited. This looks so good. I am so pleased to have this in my car. This really is kind of one of those ultimate engine bay upgrades. All right, y'all, all done, go ahead and clean up and put your tools away. And you can tell this is not a hard install at all. And I am, I mean, I am incredibly excited to have this in my car. When I was talking with Sean Amashimaro and I heard about this project that he was working on, I literally was just blown away. This is really kind of a world premiere, one in, a, one in the entire world kind of, kind of product. You're not gonna find this from every vendor and every, every company that makes carbon fiber. This is incredible. Developed in-house from Sean Amashimaro. It's incredibly well designed. The pictures are Alone, don't do it justice. It's some of the cleanest, best looking carbon fiber I've ever seen. It's gonna be strong, it's gonna be light, and it's gonna look great. You know, every car show from this point forward, I'm gonna have my hood up the entire time. <laughs> so thank you so much for Mushmaro for making such a fantastic product. Thanks to Sean personally, fantastic guy. You should make sure to check him out. Please make sure to click like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to my channel. And I have a ton of content to bring to you like this and even more that I cannot wait. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next project.